Hi everyone, this is Stacy, and this is a video demonstration of how to complete an expense report on the Paylocity website. When you log into Paylocity, this is the landing page you'll see. To get to the expense option, you will go to the top left, click on HR and Payroll, and then select Expense from the menu that opens up. Once this loads, you're going to select Create New Expense Report, and that is here in orange near the middle. A report title is required as well as a business purpose. Until you enter information into these fields, you will not be able to create a new expense or select a saved expense. Now you can see that, that information has been entered. I can now select create expense. For this particular expense, I need a title, a transaction date, a payment method, a category, and an amount. So I'm going to complete that information. Payment method will always be cash. You don't need to change this. There are no other options. This reimbursement will be paid to you on your next paycheck. For the category, there is a drop down menu. So you'll select the appropriate option there. You'll enter the amount. And then you can type in any applicable notes. For any item that is not mileage, you will need to upload a receipt. So for meals, travel, lodging, supplies, training, anything other than mileage requires a receipt. To add the receipt to your expense, you can either drag and drop a file here if you have it on your computer, or you can click upload from computer to select the file. You can also select from the gallery. What I've done in this particular situation is I have a paper receipt. So I took a photo of that receipt with my phone, tossed the paper so I didn't have to keep up with it, and I uploaded that photo to the expense feature on the Paylocity mobile app. So now that receipt image is in my gallery and I can access that here. I just select that receipt and then I add that to my expense. And next I click save here in the top right and you can see that now my expense is on my report. You can have multiple expenses on one expense report. So let's say I need to add mileage. I'm going to go back to create expense. I'm going to type in a new title. Select the date. On the category for mileage You'll notice that the screen changes just slightly. Anytime you enter mileage, you will simply put in the number of miles you travel. And the system will automatically calculate the dollar amount for you. Our dollar amount currently is based on 58 cents per mile. That is the 2019 IRS rate. Again, you can add any notes if you need to. And for mileage, no receipt is needed. Next, you'll select Save. And now I have both of my expenses on one expense report. In order to process this through payroll, I have to select Submit for Approval. At that point, it's going to notify my supervisor that I have an expense report in the system. My supervisor will then review and approve that, and it will be sent over to payroll and process on the next cycle. If I select Save and Close, it will not process for payroll. It will simply save and close it. It will be available to you for you to go back to if needed. If you want to add additional expenses later, you can do that. But just know if you click save and close, it will not be processed for payroll. The only way to get the reimbursement on your paycheck is if you select submit for approval. Once you select that, it's gonna take a moment to process you will see a little green bar here to tell you that it was successfully saved and submitted. And you can see here now under your expense reports that the status is submitted. It is now sitting there waiting for your supervisor to approve. And once approved, it will be processed on the next paycheck. 